Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing one of the best values in dive watches. I have often sung the praises of the Carl F. Bucher Petravi Scuba Tech and since it was launched in 2013, it has represented one of the best buys. If you want a full featured diver with the solidity of Rolex, the precision of a chronometer, and added value that you won't find on any Rolex or Omega in this price point. A timepiece that feels about three times as expensive as it is, eyes closed, this could be a Royal Oak Offshore Diver on the wrist. It's that imposing and that substantial. You can see my 16 centimeter circumference wrist wears this one even though it is a large timepiece. 44.6 millimeters in diameter. It's actually quite compact at 13.5. Take that, Omega Planet Ocean. Lug to lug, it's a big boy. 52.2 millimeters if you measure it from lug to lug, but if you include the solid end links of the bracelet, it expands a little bit more to 56.6, so it's a big one, 22 millimeters between the lugs, but what I like about this watch is that the shape of the end links and the shape of the lugs means that it does arc down and around the wrist. You can see that shape. It's arced at the edges, so it's not quite as big as the lug to lug would suggest, but make no mistake, 15 centimeters circumference is probably the lower limit to wear one of these with a handsome proportion and physical security. Now, pop open the bracelet, which really deserves its own separate review. It's that good. And we're going to jump in a little bit closer and give ourselves a view of how this is joined to the case. With a bar and a screw, that's how it's done, luxury vendors. That's how it's done. No spring bars here. And you'll appreciate the fact that there is differential link size, differential alignment, and staggered finish. A bunch of intermediates with a satin down the center. You can see that the outer faces are satin finished and the shoulders are polished. There's a nice taper to the bracelet, and as you can see, no corners cut, screws used for adjusting size. You can see there are half links included on both sides of the clasp, and on the underside, big gaps to vent the wrist on a hot day as well as avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. This is one of the few bracelets I've encountered that I can say with a good conscience feels as solid as Rolex. Now the clasp is a wonderful piece on a couple of levels. First, it's a double deployment, which is always more friendly to a small wrist. Second, there is an all or nothing, I'll show you how this works, there is an all or nothing dive extension that pulls out and allows you to jump this over the cuff of a wetsuit, a dry suit, or just a thick winter coat. But there's more. There is a push button slider on the opposite side that gives you incremental adjustment. So you've got the sizing adjustment, and you can actually deploy both for maximum extension. You can fine tune with this side, and when the time comes to dive for real, or again, just use a snowblower coat, you've got this all out extension. Now the clasp is nicely made, very solid. This is machined from a block not stamped. So what you feel is as solid as Rolex or Omega. You also know it's nicely finished with a little polished bevel on the outside, satin flanks, and a polished pusher for the release system. It's well made and thoughtfully designed. The case flank is the same way. As you can see, the crown itself is downright Baroque. You've got the Carl F. Bucherer logo on the outside. You've got double road knurling with a blue layer in between that always matches the colored section or the colored quarter of the bezel on each of these Petravi scuba techs. The shear guards for the crown are screw fixed and removable, so if you gouge them, they can be replaced during service. And note the unusual finish with vertical satin all the way around. You can see that this was done to create a different aesthetic than the conventional horizontal satin or polish that you'll find on virtually every Breitling, Omega, Rolex, and Tag product. The lugs are angular and complex with a diminishing polished bevel down their flanks, and you can see that there's a helium escape valve on the flank of the watch, so you have to upgrade to a sea dweller to get this in Rolex land. Here it comes standard. If you're a saturation diver, you know what that is. If not, it's a wonderful conversation piece. The watch water resistant to 500 meters with a crystal nearly four millimeters thick. That's useful for you because it's harder to damage a big chunky crystal. It's harder to crack it through, it's harder to shatter it. Those are the advantages for land lovers. You can see there's a double knurling on the bezel's edge and the action is superb. I wanted you to hear just how chunky and positive the bezel action is. You can see the numbers themselves are actually relieved and raised, and there is a ceramic insert that actually 
encircles all of the polished numerals and calibrations. So it is a ceramic filled bezel, just like you'll get from Rolex and Omega, with a very large luminescent pearl. This one is unmistakable by night. Line it up with the rather extravagant and unique hands. You can see their sort of modified broad arrow. And then you note that the dial itself has a wonderful interstitial texture. If you look very closely, you can see the image of recurring manta rays. Now this white dial is distinctly the most tropical of the offerings. I find this to be the ultimate summer beach watch. And of course the manta on the case back sales of this watch do benefit manta conservation, so it's not just there for good looks. The dial also features all applique indices, which are nicely satin finished on their flanks. They have a handsome form that well echoes the hands at center. And there's a lovely loomed seconds hand with a unique design and a bob counterweight. It's wonderful to have a loomed seconds hand on a dive watch. You have stop seconds and a quick set date, and underneath the case back, a chronometer certified Salita SW200, 25 joules automatic, 4 hertz beat rate. It does have the stop seconds and the quick set feature, the 500 meter water resistance, the helium escape valve functionality. 38 hour power reserve and tank tough. One of the best buys in dive watches, whether you buy it new or pre-owned, but pre-owned is the cat's meow. You're getting one of the ultimate divers at any price. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Carl F. Bucher Petravi Scuba Tech. I told you that bezel pearl is huge, absolutely enormous, and yes, a loomed seconds hand. Every dive watch should have both.